black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Coming back at you with some floating head energy, mainly because I can't be bothered to change my shirt right now and I'm blending. Okay, a couple weeks late on this one. Uh, I made a mad dash grab at the uh, at the candy section on Halloween a few weeks ago, and I'm not like the sweetest sweets kind of guy. We know this around here. So I put it in hiding, and I was just like waiting for the opportune moment when my palate was like, you need to hit up some candy, some sugar, some chocolate, and today's that day. So I got this little pile of... Uh, snatched candy that I that I kept in secret uh, from Halloween and we'll just go through have some chews have some chats tell a couple tales maybe detail some of these candies because maybe you don't have them where you are but I think for the most part you probably do anyhow we got a mixture of basically chocolate and candy yeah so off rip a favorite a Maynard's Swedish Berry. This to me is a quintessential classic, one of my favorites. Uh, this is obviously the mini version, but they look like little berries, obviously. This is such a... Mm, firstly, delicious. Such a movie candy. Get a box of Swedish berries. Popcorn, maybe. A nice cold Coke. That's the move. However, once movie theater is introduced, savory food options, you know I, I quit the candy. I quit the popcorn. Taco Bell, daddy's coming home, okay? I'm looking for six soft tacos. Just stinking up the guy right beside me. <laughs> All right, another perfectly classic, same brand. We all know Sour Patch Kids, don't we? Um, this is definitely another uh, movie candy. This is gonna be risky because I'm gonna get a whole handful of sugar. Oh my God, what a dud of a pack. <laughs> they're all, there's six of them, I think, and they're all blue and blue and yellow. Now blue I could go for, that's for sure. Five per pack, bad math. Blues are good. Yellows. A dud. Yellow in any candy is pretty much a dud. But. Red's where it's at. Orange is good too. Lime can uh, take a hike. The danger in grabbing a box or a bag. Oh, sour patches. for the duration of your flick <clears throat> is you run the risk of razor blade mouth. And you know what I'm talking about. If you've been there, you know what's up. Uh, essentially, Sour Patch Kids are the salt and vinegar chips of the candy world. You know, you once you pop, you just can't stop. But once you keep going, you end up regretting everything. And then for the next two days, all your meals suck because you have razor blade cat tongue. Okay. 
So we know this, I think, and if you don't, fair warning. Next on the docket, calling my name, a wonder bar. This for me, easily a top three bar. I like a Butterfinger. Milk chocolate, caramel, crunchy, bits, nougat, chewy, soft, incred, very incred. A Play-Doh classic in my opinion, caramel. Very simple, very delicious. But to me, somewhere along the way, in my childhood, it just got played. Sorry, current milk lovers. Sorry guys, but it just got played. <laughs> it just played me. That's what I get for shit talking to caramel. Very good though. All right. Another movie is quintessential. When you go to the movies, you gotta get M&Ms. Peanut. But if you do, you gotta toss them in the popcorn. Extra butter. Get them nice and warm, a little melty. Salty, rich. Chocolate. You know what's up. I know you know. <laughs> As you can see, at our Halloween, we had both chocolate and candy, but we also had chips. So we had a three-way combination. When I say chips, we had Cheetos, uh, crunchy, regular, and jalapeno. So we brought options, okay? I handed out, and uh, it was a successful night. Started running out quick. I was the coolest house, if you will. And the only reason I say that is because I did have many options and I legitimately just individually uh, inquired with each person what they preferred. Like, I was like, are you, are you chips? What, what, it was a three C's. I was like, are you candy chips? Wait, are you candy chocolate or chips? And then they would get like whatever they want and then from there, I just give them a handful. But when it came to the came to the uh, Cheetos, I asked them like, "Are you spicy or not spicy?" And then the people would be like, "Spicy <laughs> or not?" Got the pink Starburst, best Starburst, strawberry banana, I think. Oh no, just strawberry. Easily the best burst. A little fruit punch. Hmm, it's a good one. I wish they sold just an all pink pack. Like how Mentos started carrying it all. I think strawberry pack, if not cherry. Either way, okay. We'll eliminate these because we've gone over them. We'll eliminate this. Because we've gone over it. We got duplicates of the worst thing ever. So we'll address that now. M&M's, 
Smarties. Take a hike. See you guys both later. Sayonara. You know what I mean? They're just so... I don't know. Substandard. It's like a, a really basic low-end milk chocolate with the Carnuba shell crunch. It's not for me. It's never been for me. They remind me of sprinkles on steroids, and I absolutely hate sprinkles. So, that being said... You gotta get the gist. I'm sure we've all had an M&M. I hate them. No good. Okay. Uh, also, full transparency, and I think most adults probably might do this, but maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm crazy, but I think you do. When I was handing out can candy, I definitely caught a little bit of a, a, little bit of a buzz, because it was just funner that way. But uh, we had lots of kids, and I actually got, like, um, I got a few pretty large teenage kids. Of course, I didn't give a shit. I was just like, keep your youth alive, bro. Like, I hooked them up for sure. I'm not one of those, get out of here. Mm. Just, like, I don't care. Just, like, if you want to go have a fun night, get some candy, I'm down. Snickers. Absolutely the most overrated chocolate bar of all time. Does zero for me. On that note, another highly ranked Overrated is a Twix. No, thank you. Well, not no thank you. Like, it's decent, but... It's like... It's too much of that cookie, that wafer, that crisp. The caramel nougat top is nice, though. I will say this. All right. Do we transition back to candy? Why not? Swedish fish. Basically the same thing as Swedish berries. I will say this. I think uh, out of all candies, Maynard's candies are across the board. A very consistent delicious candy in all their varieties you know you just know what you're getting and it's good I would say So, like a heartbreaking uh, trick-or-treater that I had was this little dude, he's like five, and he's like disabled on his legs, kind of-ish, I think, like almost totally, and like he comes up in like this kind of scooter wheelchair cart thing that his mom pushes, just to interrupt Mr. Big fantastic bar but like she rolled him up and he got out of his thing and he like crawled like pulled himself up the steps to like my doorstop and I was just like oh man I was like impressed I was like damn this guy's got spirit right so shout out to him but I was just like you know it's like kind of heartbreaking and then so I just got down on my knees and like got to his level and was like what do you want 
and hooked them up with. I just gave them all three. I just gave them everything. Mm. Mr. Big is perfect. Light wafer, milk chocolate, nougat, caramel. Amazing. But yeah, so little dude had heart. Had to hook him up. Had to show him that love. I would say all in all, well, we all know what Skittles are, by the way. You guys see this? All in all, the, uh, I think we were done trick-or-treating or handing out by, I say, maybe 9, 9.30. First people came at about 5. But it was like, had people from five till six, six thirty kind of slow. Skittles is a palate cleanser. Right? A little lemon cleanse. And then from six thirty to probably eight thirty, nine o'clock. It was hot, heating up big time. And then a slow taper. Until they were we were done. Now let me ask you this. When you eat Skittles, are you a Combiner or a single dingle to mingle, you know what I mean? Single, mingle. I'm usually singular. I don't really like to mash and blend. Maybe I'm a purist. I think I am. But in all reality, I think it's my neurotic propensity to understand that <clears throat> I'm about to embark on like a two hour mission, AKA a movie. And I want to like slow consumption, you know, singular, ride that wave, chew it through, take your time see what it's about, live with it, say, hi, hey, how are you, engage in relations, move on. Maybe give like a little brief interim period, and then we come back for a, another one. And the saga continues. That's my style. But anyway. My favorite bar, probably ever, Crispy Crunch. This or a score. This score, Wonder Bar, Kit Kat. This score, Wonder Bar, Kit Kat, and Mr. Big are my bars. But this has got that. Mmm. That toffee shale with the foam, kind of. Mm. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, late to the H. Ween treats party. A party nonetheless. Like I said, I rarely indulge in sweets. I don't know how people crave candy or chocolate bars. 
I could only eat them like every once in a while. And even nearing the end of this, I'm already get, I'm so overwhelmed by the sugar intake. Some people are geared that way though. I'm just a salty pizza, burgers, chips, dogs, pasta, mouthfeel, full body meal kind of guy. Anyways, hope you enjoyed my tale. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.